Patrick. Um, something's kind of similar, but, you know, Peyton said after the draft that you were the guy that, that they were targeting. Could you sense that? I mean, I mean, how much could you sense other teams' interest in you and how real it was and specifically with the Saints? Yeah, with the Saints, I, I didn't sense it as much. Uh, I know I def definitely had a good workout, um, but uh, I didn't sense sense that they were they were going to pick me. Obviously, with Drew still being there and and the success that he still had to the, to this day. And so, um, at the same time, I think they got a, a great player in Marshawn Lattimore. So I'm sure they're they're still they're still happy with that. And uh, uh, it, it's just crazy how stuff works out that we're in this position that we are in now. Let's go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Patrick. Um... It doesn't look like Drew Brees is going to play, but I'm still curious your thoughts as someone who's finishing his third year as a starting quarterback. What kind of appreciation do you have for a guy like Drew who's done it for such a long period of time? I mean, year after year after year. What kind of appreciation do you have for that? And Brad, I'll have one quick follow-up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, 100%. I mean, obviously him being from Texas uh, and, then, and then going to the, the Chargers – uh, dealing with adversity there and then going to the Saints and just been consistently at the top of the game for year in and year out. I mean, it, it is truly special to be one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time and um, to be able to consistently produce every single year. I mean, um, hopefully we, we get to go up against them or I get to go up against them. But if not, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get to face them at some other time because uh, it's uh, it, you want to play against those great quarterbacks that you watched growing up that were kind of uh, guys that you looked up to in the way they played the game. Yeah, I was going to ask you that. I mean, you're just trying to win a game Sunday, regardless of who their quarterback is. But is it a little bit disappointing if he doesn't play on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, it, it is a little bit. I mean, obviously, I have a ton of respect for Taysom and the way he's he's been able to play and produce. I mean, I watched him when I was in college and then, and then now in the NFL. I mean, the way he's able to be a – uh, go out there, throw the ball, be a quarterback, but also be one of the best athletes on the field is truly special. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you want to go up against those great quarterbacks that have done it uh, for a long time and another Texas guy and a guy that I've met a couple of times, and, and it's just a great guy. And so, um, uh, regardless, we're playing against a great football team, and uh, we'll be ready to go.